Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Drugs Milan Unboxing and in Ankersville, Connecticut at the Mohican Sun on Saturday night we're going to see the top dog being crowned in the junior middleweight division when Jamal Ironman Charlo, one of the identical Charlo twins, uh, takes on uh, the WBA and IBF champion uh, Jason Banana Rosario from the Dominican Republic. Now this I think is going to be a cracker fight, it's going to be an exciting fight and my hunch is it's not going to go the distance. Now uh, Jamal Charlo is, is the more experienced guy, um, he's been around for, 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 for some time, I think he's about 30 and 1 now, only one loss. He won the WBC uh, Junior Middleweight or Super Welterweight title uh, back in 2016 when he knocked out John Jackson, made three title defenses, among them a decision over Austin Trout, whom we know is always difficult. And then he lost in a big upset uh, to Tony Harrison in uh, 2018, which was a kind of a, fi a funny fight because you had uh, a Charlo being the aggressor, but not always effective and not working enough. But he think landing by other shots and then you had Harrison outboxing him, but not consistently sort of outboxing him in spots. I kind of thought Charlo did enough to edge it, but in the end, Harrison was a winner. Charlo was an ex-champion, but he did come back last year and he regained his WBC belt by, uh, beat, uh, by getting it right against Tony Harrison. It was a different fight, a lot more action. Um, Harrison stood and traded a little bit more. I think that was his mistake. Charlo sent him down in, in the second and then eventually uh, uh, stopped him in the 11th round, uh, knocked him out and became um, champion again. So Charlo did get it together. He is a, he is a boxer puncher. Um, he's an athletic sort, quick hands. He's got heavy, heavy hands as well. He can eat a little bit. And, uh, but also he, he, he never quite puts it all together consistently. For me, he seems to lose concentration during a fight or just sort of go into cruise control. Um, he's not there 100% for every round. And, uh, but so far, it's worked except for a slip up against, up against Harrison. And on the other side, we've got Jason Rosario, 21-1. and one. He's from the Dominican Republic. Um, his only loss was in his American debut uh, quite a while back. He took on Nathaniel Gallimore. And he, he, got, he got stopped in six rounds. You know, he started well and he seemed to sort of just run out of ideas and gas and eventually took a couple of knockdowns and they stopped it. But since then, bar for one draw, he's been winning. And uh, in the beginning of his year, he scored a major upset because uh, he knocked out Julian J. Rock Williams for the WBA and IBF belts. And Williams was coming off a career high, uh, a, a defining victory over Jared Hurd to take the titles from him. In a terrific fight out pointed her. This is his second attempt at the title. In his first attempt, Williams failed against uh, Jamal Charlo, who was then still Julian Middleweight. He got knocked out there. And then he fought Rosario, and Rosario was very impressive. Uh, he went after Williams and he stopped him in five rounds, and he's the new champion. So these two will be meeting each other to unify three of the major belts, and the winner will be crowned also the Ring Magazine champion which means to most people, to me anyway, that you are the man in the junior middleweight division. I don't think anybody can dispute that that man uh, will be the winner between Charlo and Rosario on Saturday night. Now, Jason Rosario, his nickname is sort of peculiar, banana, the fruit, of course, uh, in the Dominican Re uh, Republic, you get a lot of baseball players and apparently they like to eat bananas for power. And I never knew that bananas gives you power, but who am I to argue? And hence, because he's got the power, Jason Rosario has got this nickname, Banana. Now, he does have power. He's sort of a stalking puncher. He has, he has good body, upper body movement, but he's not slick. You know, he gets hit. He does get tagged. He's, he, he's, I think, quite susceptible to left hooks when he's in, in, in exchanges. And uh, if I look at his fight before he beat Juliet Williams, he fought a guy called Jorge Corta from Mexico. And he got away with a split decision. He looked absolutely awful in that fight. That same quarter uh, fought uh, his opponent Saturday, Saturday uh, Jamel Charlo. And Charlo just blasted him away. Now, I know style, styles make fights. But uh, that shows you sort of a level. You know, I just think Jamel Charlo has boxed for much, at, a, at a much higher level for longer. Jason Rosario has got this one big impressive win. And I do think Julian Williams has 
good as he looked there against Jared Hurd. Hurd is not a puncher. And the other loss of Williams to Jamal Charlo, the other Charlo, was also by a knockout. So I do think Julian Williams, is maybe, maybe his weak spot is he hasn't got, he's susceptible to punches. He hasn't got the best jaw. So for uh, Jamal Charlo, I think the key will be he's got to be careful and not sleepwalk through this fight. He's, he's got to be on point and he's just got to get past the first five, six rounds. Like this, because I think that's where Jason Rosario is dangerous. So he must be careful not to get caught at that stage of something. But I do think Rosario tends to fade as the fight goes on. And I think uh, Jamal Charlo uh, does get stronger. So I think Rosario is going to have his moments. He's, he's going to wobble Jamal Ch Charlo perhaps a little bit in the beginning of a fight. But I think in the end, Charlo, his experience at the higher level is going to count. He's going to pull through. And, and then I think Jason Rosario, as he starts getting lever back, is going to start falling apart. So I'm going to go with Jamal Charlo to stop Jason Rosario somewhere around round eight, I think. He's going to get to Jason Rosario and score that, uh, that, that stoppage and become the unified WBC, WBA, IBF and Ring Magazine uh, junior middleweight champion of the world. So let's see what happens at, uh, at the Mohegan Sun. But I'm going to ride with Jamal Charlo here to beat Jason Rosario. And until I see you guys again, remember to keep those gloves up.